And now, chapter 11 of the Adi Lila. After offering my obeisances unto all of the devotees of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, who are like bumblebees collecting honey from his lotus feet, I shall try to describe those who are the most prominent. All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyone who has taken shelter at his lotus feet is glorious. All glories to Sri Advaita Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, and all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is the topmost branch of the indestructible tree of eternal love of Godhead, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I offer my respectful obeisances to all the sub-branches of that topmost branch. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is an extremely heavy branch of the Sri Chaitanya tree. From that branch grow many branches and sub-branches. Watered by the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, these branches and sub-branches have grown unlimitedly and covered the entire world with fruits and flowers. These branches and sub-branches of devotees are innumerable and unlimited. Who could count them? For my personal purification, I shall try to enumerate only the most prominent among them. After Nityananda Prabhu, the greatest branch is Virabhadra Gosani, who also has innumerable branches and sub-branches. It is not possible to describe them all. Although Virabhadra Gosani was the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he presented himself as a great devotee. And although the Supreme Godhead is transcendental to all Vedic injunctions, he strictly followed the Vedic rituals. He is the main pillar in the hall of devotional service erected by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew within himself that he acted as the Supreme Lord Vishnu, but externally he was prideless. It is by the glorious mercy of Sri Virabhadra Gosani that people all over the world now have the chance to chant the names of Chaitanya and Nityananda. I therefore take shelter of the lotus feet of Virabhadra Gosani, so that by his mercy my great desire to write Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita will be properly guided. Two devotees of Lord Chaitanya named Sri Ramdas and Gadadhar Das always lived with Sri Virabhadra Gosani. When Nityananda Prabhu was ordered to go to Bengal to preach, these two devotees Sri Ramdas and Gadadhar Das were ordered to go with him. Thus they are sometimes counted among the devotees of Lord Chaitanya and sometimes among the devotees of Lord Nityananda. Similarly, Madhava and Vasudev Ghosh belong to both groups of devotees simultaneously. Ramdas, one of the chief branches, was full of fraternal love of Godhead. He made a flute from a stick with sixteen knots. Srila Gadadhar Das was always fully absorbed in ecstasy as a gopi. In his house, Lord Nityananda enacted the drama Dana Kali. Sri Madhava Ghosh was a principal performer of kirtan. While he sang, Nityananda Prabhu danced. When Vasudev Ghosh performed kirtan, describing Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda, even wood and stone would melt upon hearing it. There were many extraordinary activities performed by Morari, a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes in his ecstasy he would slap the cheek of a tiger, and sometimes he would play with a venomous snake.
All the associates of Lord Nityananda were formerly cowherd boys in Rajabhumi. Their symbolic representations were the horns and sticks they carried, their cowherd dress, and the peacock plumes on their heads. The physician Raghunath, also known as Upadhyaya, was so great a devotee that simply seeing him would awaken one's dormant love of Godhead. Sundarananda, another branch of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, was Lord Nityananda's most intimate servant. Lord Nityananda Prabhu perceived the life of Rajabhumi in his company. Kamalakara Pipalai is said to have been the third Gopal. His behavior and love of Godhead were uncommon, and thus he is celebrated all over the world. Suryadas Sarakail and his younger brother Krishnadas Sarakail both possessed firm faith in Nityananda Prabhu. They were a reservoir of love of Godhead. Gaudi Das Pandit, the emblem of the most elevated devotional service in love of Godhead, had the greatest potency to receive and deliver such love. Making Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda the lords of his life, Gaudi Das Pandit sacrificed everything for the service of Lord Nityananda, even the fellowship of his own family. The thirteenth important devotee of Sri Nityananda Prabhu was Pandit Purandara, who moved in the ocean of love of Godhead just like the Mandara hill. Paramishva Das, said to be the fifth Gopal of Krishna Lila, completely surrendered to the lotus feet of Nityananda. Anyone who remembers his name, Paramishva Das, will get love of Krishna very easily. Jagadish Pandit, the fifteenth branch of Lord Nityananda's followers, was the deliverer of the entire world. Devotional love of Krishna showered from him like torrents of rain. The sixteenth dear servant of Nityananda Prabhu was Dhananjaya Pandit. He was very much renounced and always merged in love of Krishna. Mahesh Pandit, the seventh of the twelve Gopals, was very liberal. In great love of Krishna, he danced to the beating of a kettle drum like a madman. Purushottam Pandit, a resident of Navadvip, was the eighth Gopal. He would become almost mad as soon as he heard the holy name of Nityananda Prabhu. Balaram Das always fully tasted the nectar of love of Krishna. Upon hearing the name of Nityananda Prabhu, he would become greatly maddened. Yadonath Kabichandra was a great devotee. Lord Nityananda Prabhu always danced in his heart. The twenty-first devotee of Sri Nityananda in Bengal was Krishnadas Brahman, who was a first-class servant of the Lord. The twenty-second devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu was Kala Krishnadas, who was the ninth cowherd boy. He was a first-class Vaishnav and did not know anything beyond Nityananda Prabhu. The twenty-third and twenty-fourth prominent devotees of Nityananda Prabhu were Sadashiva Kaviraj and his son Purushottam Das, who was the tenth Gopal. Since birth, Purushottam Das was merged in the service of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda Prabhu, and he always engaged in childish play with Lord Krishna. Sri Kanu Thakur, a very respectable gentleman, was the son of Purushottam Das Thakur. He was such a great devotee that Lord Krishna always lived in his body. Udaran Dattakur, the eleventh among the twelve cowherd boys, was an exalted devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. He worshipped the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda in all respects. The twenty-seventh prominent devotee of Nityananda Prabhu was Acharya Vaishnavananda, a great personality in devotional service. He was formerly known as Raghunath Puri. Another important devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu was Vishnu Das, who had two brothers, 
Nandan and Ganga Das. Lord Nityananda Prabhu sometimes stayed at their house. Paramananda Upadhyaya was Nityananda Prabhu's great servitor. Sri Jiva Pandit glorified the qualities of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. The thirty-first devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu was Paramananda Gupta, who was greatly devoted to Lord Krishna and highly advanced in spiritual consciousness. Formerly, Nityananda Prabhu also resided at his house for some time. The thirty-second, thirty-third, thirty-fourth, and thirty-fifth prominent devotees were Narayan, Krishna Das, Manohar, and Devanand, who always engaged in the service of Lord Nityananda. The thirty-sixth devotee of Lord Nityananda was Hoda Krishna Das, whose life and soul was Nityananda Prabhu. He was always dedicated to the lotus feet of Nityananda, and he knew no one else but him. Among Lord Nityananda's devotees, Nakadi was the thirty-seventh, Mukunda the thirty-eighth, Surya the thirty-ninth, Madhava the fortieth, Sridhar the forty-first, Ramananda the forty-second, Jagannath the forty-third, and Mahidada the forty-fourth. Sri Manta was the forty-fifth, Gokul Das the forty-sixth, Harihar Ananda the forty-seventh, Shivai the forty-eighth, Nandai the forty-ninth, and Paramananda the fiftieth. Vasanta was the fifty-first, Navani Hoda the fifty-second, Gopal the fifty-third, Sanatan the fifty-fourth, Vishnai the fifty-fifth, Krishnananda the fifty-sixth, and Sulochan the fifty-seventh. The fifty-eighth great devotee of Lord Nityananda Prabhu was Kamsari Sain. The fifty-ninth was Ramasain. The sixtieth was Ramachanda Kaviraj, and the sixty-first, sixty-second, and sixty-third were Govinda, Sri Ranga, and Mukunda, who were all physicians. Among the devotees of Lord Nityananda Prabhu, Pitambara was the sixty-fourth, Madhvacharya the sixty-fifth, Damodar Das the sixty-sixth, Sankara the sixty-seventh, Mukunda the sixty-eighth. Yanadas the 69th and Manohara the 70th The dancer Gopal was the 71st Ramabhadra the 72nd Goranga Das the 73rd Nrsinga Chaitanya the 74th and Miniketan Ramdas the 75th Vrindavan Das Thakur the son of Srimati Narayani composed Sri Chaitanya Mangal later known as Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat. Srila Vyasadeva described the pastimes of Krishna in the Srimad Bhagavatam. The Vyas of the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Vrindavan Das. Among all the branches of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, Virabhadra Gosani was the topmost. His sub-branches were unlimited. No one can count the unlimited followers of Nityananda Prabhu. I have mentioned some of them just for my self-purification. All these branches, the devotees of Lord Nityananda Prabhu, being full of ripened fruits of love of Krishna, distributed these fruits to all they met, flooding them with love of Krishna. All these devotees had unlimited strength to deliver unobstructed, unceasing love of Krishna. By their own strength, they could offer anyone Krishna and love of Krishna. I have briefly described only some of the followers and devotees of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Even the thousand-mouthed Sheshanag cannot describe all of these unlimited devotees. With an ardent desire to serve the purpose of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Following in their footsteps. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Aditya Gadadha Sri Vasudhi Gauratam.
This ends chapter 11 of the Adi Lila. <laughs>